Hola and welcome to another video in our Retrofit series. I'm Norman from Future Student University and in this video we will look at cancelling requests. So if you have an ongoing request, you decide to cancel it or maybe the user decides to cancel it, how can you implement that? All right, let's jump right into it. What we have here is the code of our retrofit download files video from a while ago. I made a few changes and that is I added a cancel button. So once you click start download, it will display a cancel button and once the download is finished, it will hide the cancel button again. And what we now need to do is actually tie up the functionality to the cancel button because if I click it, nothing happens. So let's quickly get an overview over the code. Up here, I tie up the cancel and download button. Once um, the user clicks the download button, it goes to the download file method. And this is a regular um, retrofit code. So we start our download here, and we write it to the disk. And once everything is done, we will show that little success toast and hide the cancel button. So Let's tie up the cancel button. So we will take the cancel button and set an unclick listener because once the user clicks on the button, we want to cancel the request. And let's show a toast to let him know that he canceled the request. And Redfoot makes it really easy to cancel a request. So up here we call on the call object in queue. So we start the um, request on the call object. And canceling the request is also on the call, call object. And it's actually method cancel. And that's it. All you have to do to cancel request is call cancel on the call object. And then it will stop the request, it will ignore um, whatever the server is sending back if it's already on the way back. Um, so it's actually pretty easy. Now there is a little thing you need to pay attention to and I will demonstrate that on the app. So let's wait until the compiling is done. And let's see if our cancel button actually works. So I'm going to click the start file download and the cancel button right away. And as you can see, request canceled, and we get a pop-up request failed. So why does that show up? Well, that shows up because Retrofit will actually go back to the two callbacks here, and when you cancel the request, it will count it as, hey, this was an on failure. So this toast is going to get displayed. And that not, might not be ideal. Let's assume you have a UI where the user downloads a file, and that fails because there's no network and you're going to display an error message like this. This error message might not be the right way to inform the user if he canceled the download because that was a intended action. It wasn't, oh, something went wrong, please try it again. This is, okay, you did this on purpose. So what we need to do is we need to change this method or this message depending on um, what's the reason for the unfailures. And that's pretty easy to do. You can simply do um, is canceled on the method. So you can display a message if it's canceled. Or if it's failed. So let's change this method, user click cancel. And theoretically, it should go in the unfailure method. This should go be true, and then we should see this message. If there's no internet connection, we should see this message. message. Okay, let's go back to the emulator. Oh, we click start, we click cancel, and I was too slow. User click cancel and request cancel just like we wanted to. So let's change the network connection to, um, let's say, a very slow network connection. So it's so slow that it should time out before the request is done. 
I'm going to click start file download. There you go. And hopefully we should see the request failed method now because it was too, or the, the network was too slow to finish the request on time. And it's going to time out, which isn't a cancer action. So it should say request failed. And there we have it. That's it for this video. You have seen how easy it is to cancel requests with retrofit. And you've also seen that you need to be careful with the unfailure error message and pay attention if it's a canceled um, request or if it's an actual failed request. If you want to see more retrofit videos, let us know by liking this video, maybe add a comment below and subscribe for more videos. Enjoy coding and make it rock.